All right, Kagan 9's Jason Barr joins me now for our other top story tonight. Jed Fish leaving the Arizona football program to become the next head coach at Washington. And Jason, a shocking move. I say leaving. He's already left. He already got on a plane to Seattle, said goodbye to his team. This all developed so quickly, and it is a stunner. Yeah, I think this is an upsetting day, Ryan, for most Arizona Wildcat fans. You know, here's a team that won seven in a row to end the season. We see them there winning the Alamo Bowl. They had 18 of 22 starters coming back next season, and now all of that momentum is just pretty much gone as, as Fish leaves for Washington 10 days after saying that he wasn't interested in any other jobs. Yeah, saying that, uh, and I think that combined, you know, the recent comments he's made about being committed here, not having interest in going anywhere else, uh, plus the mantra that he's had his three years as head coach, it's personal. Uh, building a brand, building a family here, building from the ground up, uh, and I think all of that combined, I think rubs people the wrong way. Yeah, it's personal to a lot of Arizona fans right now. This all happened really quickly because Nick Saban retired right from Alabama about a week ago. Less than and, a week ago. And then they go with the Washington coach, uh, DeBoer, and, and that's what opened up the, the job. And, and uh, you know, just uh, as early as a couple days ago, it didn't look like this was going to happen, but it came together very quickly because teams don't want to be without a head coach for very long. And, Ryan, I think this is something that upset a lot of fans here. We see the mm -hmm. Washington AD coming to Jed Fish's home in Tucson and signing him. Yeah, I think this video, uh, this came out right around when he was saying uh, goodbye to the team may have even been uh, before that uh, I think just the the timing and also the fact that you see that they're happening in his home in Tucson he didn't even wait to get to Washington to sign the contract the I think certainly on the, on the door felt a little slimy yeah the Wildcat yeah. sign right outside the front door uh, certainly people angry about that tonight yeah it's a little bit of unfinished business right because here's a situation where Arizona took a chance on fish three years ago he wasn't a big name nobody was talking about him as far as a college coach right gave uh, him a shot to be a head coach exactly a couple rebuilding years and one good year and now he's 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 leaving and you know a big reason why Ryan certainly the money the money right? and and that's you know an understandable to a degree seven years 54 million dollars was was tough to turn down that's the reports for the for the money not something that Arizona couldn't match Yes, uh, even the extension that they were close, reportedly close to having he, to stay at the U of A, annual number was closer to $5 million. So uh, certainly that is a difference there. Uh, the interesting thing is, uh, you know, he's going to a, a team that was just in the national championship game. They lost. Uh, a lot of that roster is gone. He left a, a chance, a, an Arizona team, as you mentioned, a top 10, borderline top 10 team with playoff aspirations. He left all that behind. Now the question is, Will any of the Arizona's roster follow him to Seattle? Well, that's what you hope doesn't happen if you're an Arizona Wildcat fan, because if the, this team stays intact next year with the 18 starters returning, with the quarterback and Noah Fafita and Tedero McMillan, the wide receiver, best returning wide receiver in college football, right? If they come back, Arizona can still be really good next year. But if they don't, they're not going to be ranked 11th to, to start the season, the, the ranking they had to end last season. And uh, as he was departing, Coach Fish, uh, also releasing a statement saying in part, quote, I absolutely have loved my time as a Wildcat and never thought my family and I would ever leave. Unfortunately, that day has come. It was a gut-wrenching and agonizing decision, but I am proud to leave everything in a better place than when I came, end quote. That's just part of that lengthy statement there. Uh, I'm sure it was gut wrenching. I'm, yeah. I'm sure there was a lot of mixed emotions, uh, but of course, uh, a lot of Arizona fans uh, probably don't want to hear that right now. And, and the other statement that came out tonight was from Dave Hickey, the athletic director. Yeah, saying he did everything th that they could to, to retain Fish. They didn't want to. They didn't want to see him leave, but ultimately he did. And they're going to work pretty hard and pretty fast to find a new head coach soon. And that is critical now because, as you talked about, oh, there you go. Here, that's, that's Brendan Carroll, the offensive coordinator. This is the players and the coaches leaving today. The the meeting that they had, the impromptu meeting uh, Jacob Manu, a linebacker, uh, where Fish telling his, his student athletes, his players, in a brief meeting that he was leaving. And, and Brendan Carroll, you saw there first, could be a coaching candidate. There's going to be a coaching candidates brought up this week as they look for a, a new head coach, and that is going to be a critical hire. Uh, and we've seen how quickly things move. I think Arizona, if they want to have an impactful hire that keeps the roster together as much as possible or keeps the positive momentum going. Uh, I feel like they do need to act fast. We'll see what happens with this coaching search, but they have to get it right. The players want Johnny Nansen. They've already tweeting hire Nansen uh, trending on Twitter. Former right? defensive uh, coordinator. Uh, exactly. He left for, for Texas at the end of the season, was a defensive coordinator last year. That's who they want. Uh, uh, 
We'll see what happens. Uh, players usually don't dictate uh, who gets to be the head coach, but that's who the players want to see. Yeah, well, the only thing we can guarantee is that after this big seismic change, there will be more changes coming. We'll keep you updated here on KGA 9.